How's it going guys? Welcome to another painting tutorial. This time I'm going to paint a goblin from the Escape from Goblin Town set from Games Workshop. Now this is the end result that you're going to get if you follow this tutorial. I hope you like it and uh, please leave comments, uh, like and subscribe to my channel if you like this tutorial. As usual I'm going to start with a primed grey miniature and what I'm going to start to do is use Rackarth Flesh to give the whole model a base coat. At this point I'm not really concerned about how the paint is uh, painting all over the miniature, I'm just uh, laying the base coat for all over the miniature. Remember to thin it down so that you don't obscure detail with a, a thick layer of paint and just go over the whole miniature. Now that that's dry, I'm going to use Ball Red, which is the equivalent for Carburg Crimson, and I'm going to start washing the miniature. This is a simple step, you just have to mop the paint all over the miniature and help it uh, set on the uh, recesses and darkest areas of the miniature. For this tutorial, I tried to follow the paints that you get when you buy the paint set for with the uh, goblins from Games Workshop. So if you have that set, you can almost exactly paint the miniature as I'm doing. I think I only use uh, Screaming Skull and I don't know if that color is in that set, but you can use uh, the same Witch Palette Flesh for that. Now I'm going to go ahead again with Rackard Flesh. I'm going to thin down the paint with water and glaze medium, about one to one mix, and that I'm going to mix it to my paint about one to one with paint. Here I'm uh, using thin paint to uh, to paint the miniature to a medium high standard, and uh, you can use. Uh, not so thin paint if you're not going for a really high quality miniature. After all, you're going to be painting a lot of uh, goblins, I assume. And uh, if you're doing it this way, it may be a little bit time consuming. So, yes, thin down your paint, but not, not so much if you are going for a lower standard. Now, now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead with Palette Witch Flesh. And I'm going to start layering uh, a highlight over all of the areas, just uh, leaving about uh, half of the record flesh showing below this color, and that's it. Just highlighting the upper areas and all the places that are most raised from the miniature. Because I'm thinning down the paint. Uh, some of these steps I did uh, a couple of layers. If you're using thin paints, you you want to uh, apply apply at least two coats of paint and let them dry half before you apply the another one. Uh, this helps a better transition and uh, a more even coat without uh, paint crumbs or brush strokes. This is how the miniature should look after the previous steps. Now I'm going to use Steel Legion Drav and I'm going to apply it all over the uh, leather areas and pieces of rope and loincloth. For this I am using a detail brush, being really careful to uh, not paint over the skin that we worked already on and that's it next comes storm vermin fur and this color I'm going to use it on the hair of the miniature 
It's not much, but it has to be painted. Next, I'm going to use Lead Belcher, and I'm going to base coat the, all of the metal areas. In this case, it's just this uh, like butcher knife that the goblin is carrying with him. Next, I'm going to use Screaming Skull. And this I'm going to use it for all of the the teeth, the eyes, and the uh, toenails. In this case, um, I only colored one eye of the goblin because the o the other one was like uh, uh, sunk in the skull, like he's missing an eye. So I didn't bother painting it, and it was a little bit hard. I had to use the finest brush that I have to. Uh, to paint the eye and now I'm using ball red again just to redefine the edges of the eye just use a little bit of the uh, wash to color the crevices around the eye just to make it pop a little bit more now I'm using Devlin mud but you can use the new Agrax Earthshade it's pretty much the same thing and I'm going to wash all over the leather areas just to make them darker and to give them shadows. I'm also using this color for the hair and for the uh, iron parts just to make them look uh, really uh, dirty and old. And also I'm going to use it on the uh, teeth and toenails uh, make sure to let a little bit of the uh, this wash on the mouth so that it darkens a little bit. Now I'm going to finish the eye by painting a little stripe on the eye to make a, a pupil with Abaddon Black. Now we're on the highlights. I'm going to use Iron Breaker to dry brush the knife or whatever this is. I'm going to use my large dry brush and just uh, dry brush a little bit just to make it pop a little bit. And then I'm going to use Bane Blade Brown and this one I'm going to use it to highlight all of the uh, leather areas. Now to finish it off, I'm going to use Administratum Grey, and this I'm going to use it to highlight the hair. Just try to hit the most exposed areas of the paint, painting the individual hairs like so, and that's enough. Now this is how the miniature looks once it's uh, finished and based. I, I'm i really proud of the way it turned out. I think it looks very cool. Although my method is a little bit time consuming because of the layers, I think it's worth it for uh, making your goblins look ver very nice. Also you can use this method to paint the Goblin King. Maybe spending a little bit more time on layering the colors so that the transition is uh, smoother but overall is the same colors now please like the, the video comments and subscribe if you want to see more videos thank you very much for watching I'll catch you on the next one